In this session, I'd like to have a look at an introduction to algebra. Algebra is a branch of mathematics that deals with patterns and rules. A common pattern or that you guys may be familiar with is the AFL football scores. I'm going to use this as a bit of an example. Having a look at this game here between Geelong and Melbourne, you can see that Geelong had a total score of 233 points. Now that 233 points is made up of 37 goals and 11 behinds. We can express that as this equation here. Total score is equal to 6 times g plus 1 times b, where g equals goals and b equals behinds. Now we know that each goal is worth 6 points, that's why we times it by 6, and we know that each behind is worth 1 point, and that's why we times it by 1. The g and the b in this case are called pronumerals, and a pronumeral is a letter or symbol that is used in place of a number. By using this equation, we're able to work out the score of any football match simply by putting in the number of goals kicked by the team and the number of behinds kicked by the team, solving the equation to get the total score. In algebra, when multiplying numbers and pronumerals, we typically do not show the multiplication sign. What we do instead is we place numbers in front of the pronumerals. So for example, h equals k times 5 is typically written as h equals 5k. In this case, the number 5 is called the coefficient. The coefficient is the number out the front of any pronumeral. When a rule is written using pronumerals, it's called a formula. So as we saw earlier, the formula for football matches is total score is equal to 6 times the number of goals kicked plus 1 times the number of behinds kicked. Equations always contain an equals sign. Let's have a look at this equation down here. I'd like to go through its different parts and highlight them to you. The y here on the left hand side and the x here on the right hand side are what's known as variables. And they're called variables because the number that they can represent varies. y and x can be equal to any number and that's the beauty of using them is that y can equal anything and x can equal anything also. As we've already learned, the 3 here in front of the x is called a coefficient. Any number in front of a pronumeral is called the coefficient of that pronumeral. In this equation also, we have this number 2 at the back here. Now this is called a constant, and the reason it's called a constant is because its value doesn't change. It's always equal to 2. Looking at the 3x in contrast, the value of this term will change depending on the value of x. If x is equal to 2, this term will be equal to 6. If x is equal to 1, this term will be equal to 3. The value of 2, however, is always constant, so we call it the constant. Now just then I introduced another, another word, the word term. y is a term, 3x is a term, and 2 here is a term. These are all terms. Each individual component of an equation is called a term. Now, on each side of the equal sign, these two terms here, 3x and the minus 2, are called an expression. The y here on the left hand side, it's also called an expression. The difference being that an expression is what's on one side of the equal sign. When you have more than one expression, or in this case we've got two expressions, when you put them together, we get what's called an equation. Feel free to go back over this film a couple of times until you're familiar with these terms. They're not very difficult, but if you don't know them, you're not going to understand a lot of the things we discuss in class.